Hey guys, welcome back to Small Academy. Today we are going to look at Android X library and how to migrate our old Android Studio project into Android X library so that we will be able to take advantage of new robust Android X library. So migrating Android Studio project is really simple and quick unless your project is very complex. And if you have used very complex library and functions in your application, then you might need to make few changes by yourself but that doesn't mean it is uh, difficult and that doesn't mean you can't do it android studio comes with a uh, built-in android x migration tool so that uh, we can take the backup of our old project and and everything is automatic so we don't need to worry about anything so only thing we need to worry about is that if anything is unable to resolve then we might need to do it by ourselves so that is the uh, a rare case so today in this case I'm going to migrate one of my old uh, application and that app is using old support library version so that I ne needed to uh, upgrade that to a newer a Android X library okay uh, before we actually start migrating our application a uh, few things we need to do that is we need to uh, upgrade our uh, Gradle version you can uh, check your Gradle file version from the configuration setting and uh, and you need to go to build execution and deployment inside here go to build tools and you'll see the Gradle okay so uh, here you can see the uh, actual location of uh, Gradle path to see your current Gradle version just click on this small folder of uh, icon go to the gradle and inside this you'll see the folder called a wrapper and go inside the distribution and you here you'll see the your latest version of gradle so mine is 5.4.1 so i need to change this in my old uh, android studio project let me open my old android studio project so it must be here somewhere uh -huh, okay so it is called story app so it is a um, simple recycler view app which have the title and description and if you click on any of the recycler view it will display the d details of that um, story so uh, i have already created video on that as well so if you want to learn how to create that kind of app you can see that video on the channel or in the i'll link that video on the description so in the project I need to change my uh, Gradle version so to to change that I need to go to this Gradle directory inside this wrapper and in the Gradle Gradle wrapper properties file here I need to change that to the latest version of my app so uh, currently you can see my app is having a, a latest, latest version but your app might be having the older version of Gradle file so you need to change that version here and save the file but please remember this step is completely optional so if if you don't do this Android Studio will automatically download the required version of Gradle file and update in your Gradle that um, wrapper file so you don't need to worry about it I don't want my Android Studio to download the new version of Gradle file whenever I uh, open this project so now our app is ready to open in our android studio so good uh, to do that go to the android studio and here in import project go to the directory where you have saved that project here is the story app i'm going to click ok and it will import the app here so it will sync the project and it will take few seconds and if they ask for any update um, recommendation then just click on update it will uh, update our gradle plugin and our project is ready to run right but if i go here in my layout and show you what i have here in a text format if i show you i'm using the android support library here so Android X, Android support, constant layout and if I go to the 
build the Gradle file of my application. Here you can see I'm still using the support version, app compact version 7, recycler view version 7 and so on, right? So these all these libraries need to be converted into the Android X. Okay. So uh, either we can do that manually from here and it will take a lot of time. Instead of doing that, we are going to use the uh, migration tool that Android Studio provided to us. So go to the refactor and here you'll see the migrate to Android X options. So just click on that and it will ask you to um, proceed with the migration and it will give you option to back up your project. So click on that if you want to back up your project and you definitely want to do that because if something goes wrong then you need to recover your project right so click on migrate and select the uh, directory where you want to save that backup file so I'll just select the same directory click on OK and it will look for the uses and it will take some time based on your project size so here it is saying that there is there is 14 migration that I need to do here that Thing we need to check right so it will asking me to do the refactor so I'll click on the do refactor button and it and it will start the migration process and once the uh, migration is finished it will sync the project and after that you can see that your project is converted into the Android X library so here you can see it is having Android X app compact card view, constant layout and everything is in Android X library now. Okay, so now you can actually run the project and see if it's working as expected or not. So I'll run this app to check if it is working as it was before or not. So let me connect my device here and I'll run the app. So here you can see my app is running. I can still operate the same way as it was before. Now if I click on any of this, I can see the details and I can go back and everything is working perfectly fine. So uh, this is called the story app. So if you want to make, if you want to know how to make this app, then you can uh, see the tutorials video on my channel so I'll link that video on the description so you can actually start building your app so that is how we convert the older support library to the Android X library so if you guys don't understand anything or if you are getting some problem you can always ask me in the comment box and don't forget to like and subscribe so that it will give me the motivation to create more and more videos in the future. So I hope to see you in my next video. Bye bye.